Welcome to this new session of training on the usage of the new software iPlan for teachers and inspectors of economic sciences and techniques. Today, I will be doing money for which is putting an employee on mission. What are the competencies we expect the learners to acquire? The first competence will be that the learner should be able to register the mission order of an employee and the second, they should be able to print the mission order of an employee. How effectively are we going to acquire these competencies? We now enter the practical phase of putting an employee on mission. As usual, double click on the iPlan's ERP icon on your screen and it will open a window which you will fill. You select the last bad one subject as usual, specialty STM in the sec, and then you enter. The next window that opens with for authentication. You will double click on language and you will have English there selected. You fill the information as usual and then your password that you have been given. You fill your password and you enter. Now the spider opens. You go to staff present itself like this then you will go to the top of it where you see gender or genre you click there you select our worker was the best to worker we click and it opens now you double click on that worker information about him as you feel will come on you go to missions click on missions and then you come and now start a new mission for him. There is new here with a green on it. A mission opens for him. The first is destination. Where is he going to? I'd say he's going to Wabane. He's going to Wabane. Through which area is he to pass? I would say Chang. Chang. Passing through Chang. He now see the mode of traveling. How will he travel? I would say he will use a car. As public transport, but I would prefer a car. What is the objective of the mission? As an inspector, he is going for inspection. Inspection. And where will he be doing this inspection? I will choose GHS Government High School Wabane. And then, what is the departure date? Okay, we presume today that he's leaving tomorrow. I'm putting him on mission to go tomorrow. For return date, how will he come back? We we'll go back to our calendar. Then we select what is the day he will be coming back. Okay, I'll still select that he will be coming back here on the 23rd. Once I choose 23rd of February, I sign. It gives him the total number of days will be out. That will be 12 days. Now, what is the matriculation of the car he's going to use? I'll just put a K, K R E W, and I validate. For the nature of his load, what will he be carrying? I will say uh, he will be carrying his bags. Then every day, for how long will he be working? We will select a duration every day from what time? I select 7 o'clock. 
or zero, eight o'clock that he'll be working every day. Now, after having filled this, I validate and then they will say print. This is the information about this is the emission order that has been filled with its name. If you see it here, all this information has been filled. You see it, Monsieur Ketum Brighton and all that has been filled for him to go on mission. Then they say print heading. We are printing it. You see that his full information has appeared here. In that case, you can direct to which machine you want it to be printed. It will show you whether you print in PDF, you are printing in this, you choose any one from up here. And then the document here is a PDF, you can save it. And now everything about him has been done. That is what you will do when you send somebody on mission. We have come to the end of this session. But before we go, we remind ourselves that our task for this module was to see how we can put an employee or staff on mission and how we can print a mission order. And from the practical exercise, we also saw how we could go on mission and uh, the information that will appear on this mission order. Our next module will be on builds, that is, how to prepare a build for somebody who buys from an enterprise.